Hey, what's going on guys? It's Slim. I'm bringing you another Forzathon event and this week it is Horizon Cares, driving benefits us all. The challenges you have this week is taken for granted, perform 20 J-turn skills to receive 70,000 credits, not a snail's pace, complete three races in a European sports car to win the Porsche Cayman GTS. Looking forward to getting that one. Giving back, spend 200,000 credits to win three wheel spins. So I'm assuming I need to buy a car. Uh, and community service. Complete any co-op event to earn 85,000 XP. And I'm probably going to have a hard time with that one. I might actually uh, see if one of my buddies is online. Uh, real quick. And see what he's up to. Hey, what's up? Hey, Benny. Where are you at? Uh, at Walmart in both cities. Ugh. All right, uh, the uh, Forzathon event went live for this week, and you need co-op partners to do it. So I was going to see if you, uh, any anybody wanted to do it. So whenever you get back, just let uh, me know. I will do it. We'll let you know. Okay. All right, later. All right, bye. All right, well, since I'm here, I'm going to do the giving back achievement and uh, spend the 200,000 credits. So I'm just going to go and search for a car and buy that. Auto show horizon recommends. Let's see something over 200 K. I got 7 million, so I got quite a bit to spend, but I don't want to spend it all, uh, you know, right off. What will I like more? I'll probably, uh, prefer the 430 Scuderia more than, uh, anything else right now. So, and, uh, if you did catch a glimpse of the Brian O'Connor car, yes, I do have that car. Because, you know, I mean, Fast and Furious, who couldn't resist? Hey, first achievement, giving back. Too easy. Just uh, go spend the 200,000 credits on a car or anything else. I'm assuming it will work with parts, but, I mean, I doubt you want to rack up um, 200,000 credits in parts. It won't take too terribly long, but you got to fully upgrade, like, three cars. And then, from there, I'm going to go back to my garage go back to my garage and go back to Mitsubishi because I want to drive that Mitsubishi. And this car just sounds fantastic, so I'm going to I'm going to drive it out and do the little I love the noise it makes, especially the uh the turbo spitting. I wish you could change the headlights though. All right, challenge. I got that three wheel spins. And this time, I, I know I always say that I'm going to finish with wheel spins. I'm actually going to do it this time because, you know, I have a lot of wheel spins that I just I just saved them up and I haven't messed with them. So I'm going to do that today um, and get some uh, wheel spins. Bucket list challenges? No. All right, what is next on the docket? Taken for granted. Uh... I'm going to do the uh, taken for granted. I'm just going to fast travel straight over to the airfield to do this one. Get me lots of uh, open space. Now, as usual, I am using my uh, Club Sport wheel, uh, the Club Sport pedals, and the shifter. This car is actually uh, actually pretty nimble. Whoa, if I can, you know, not, not get it off into the dirt. It's actually pretty nimble from what I've driven so far. So, all right, well, I'm going to pop it. Pop that, pop it in reverse, build up the RPMs, and back it straight up. Well, that was shitty. <laughs> oh man, I almost split the difference. All right.
Nice. And there we go. It was a little difficult. The J-turns didn't always want to register, but I got my 20 J-turn skills for that 70,000 credits. And I'm going to move on to the sports car. Ooh. Yes, my friend, the Lotus Exige. This thing's like a little rabbit that runs around the track, man. I love this thing. I'm just going to go straight to that one. Now, if you've seen any of my previous Forzathon videos, you know that the easiest way to do these is to set the uh, difficulty of your AI drivers to the minimum. You don't really need to try so hard to finish these. I mean, you could if you want to, if you want the extra payout, but you can get your extra payout by playing online and stuff like that. You don't really need to uh, <laughs> adjust your difficulty that much. All right, I've raced the Lotus Exige a few times in this game, but not a lot. So I don't know if the handling's changed from the last one to this one. Not that, not that well, so. Um, we're just going to do an exhibition match. Mm. I'm on the outside, buddy. I'm on the outside, bucko. <laughs> I have gotten a little bit better about uh, learning how to swap my feet on the pedals, especially the clutch playing Dirt 4, which, uh, by the way, if you haven't seen any of my uh, Dirt 4 playthrough, I believe I've already put out the third part. Uh, two parts to the public so far and three parts total ready to go. And I've done... Five parts. So if you want to check that out and uh, see what Dirt 4 is all about, it is fantastic. Um, Codemasters make some really good racing games, and especially this one, they made it uh, more geared towards uh, sim enthusiasts as well as arcade racers. So, uh, you know, if, if it's a game that you've thought about checking out, I highly recommend it. Um, everybody bases their own opinions off of each game, but they have the simulation setting if you're into sim racing and it does everything i mean just the other day i was using a uh, a borrowed car and the the brakes started making some weird noises and needed repairs mid-race and that's the kind of simulation stuff that i like oh my god this thing is hard to handle in the dirt i'm struggling that's the kind of simulation stuff i like in a racing game uh where sometimes things are just out of your control now, if it was happening frequent, like way frequently, and it was causing me to uh, lose races, I would be telling you something completely different. But usually it's just like a rattle in the brakes and everything. So it's not a big deal. And I really enjoy the fact that they, uh, they think to add some of this stuff in the game. It's stuff that I wish uh, Forza would strive for in the future. And, uh, I mean, not as far as it goes with uh, Horizon, but with the Motorsports franchise. I really hope that they that they get their things together in, uh, in the future. Because I know they're about to go to E3 and announce Forza Motorsport 7. And hopefully we get some good news and there's some serious updates to the game uh, going in. I got another load right on my ass. I don't really think you have to win. Uh, you just have to complete the races. There we go. Let's see if I can take this corner a little, a little better and get a nice run out of there. Yep. Driving this thing on dirt is a nightmare, but once it's on the asphalt, it's a dream. There we go. First place. All right, that's one race down. Two more to go. Um... 
so I played Dirt Rally uh, very briefly with my uh, my racing wheel, and then I played. I've been playing n nothing but the wheel on Dirt 4. I haven't even touched a controller yet with it, and I set it on simulation. I've set the difficulty of the AI up, and it seems like you have your good events and your bad events, like race uh, courses that you can cope with and courses that you just can't. And I think that's the best part about it is because on Dirt Rally, I felt like the ditches on the sides of the road were really close to your car at all times, and it just... it it made you feel like you were blocked in just to your the width of your car and you had nowhere to go. So uh, the changes that they made to the game definitely made me smile. And, uh, and I haven't done any snow racing yet, so I can't say for sure if the snow banks on the side are the same, but, you know, it's all positive so far. I don't think I've had really a major complaint about, uh, about the game and how it runs. But I do plan on doing an entire career. Something I've never done with a racing game that I've wanted to do, but I've never put up an entire career on my channel. And uh, I've, I've been wanting to for a long time. I just, it takes a lot of time to do videos sometimes, and I, I let it get to me where I, uh, I, I, I don't bother to take the time to do that stuff. So I'll play the game, but then I just won't, I won't put it up. And uh, I'm, I'm getting better at it. As you can see, my channel's been flooded with videos compared to how it used to be. Um, I'm learning to pace my time better uh, as far as my channel goes. So, All right. Race two on the Lotus Exige. All right, we're just going to jump in and start it. Wish I could look my camera over. Unfortunately, it's my horn. Don't come back to the inside. Don't come back to the inside. I'm there. Well, the back end gets so squirrely in the dirt. Probably should have... Hey, 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 get off my door. Get off my door, bub. I need asphalt like now. Time now. Time now. It's all dirt. It's all dirt. I'm screwed. You d even just touch the brakes and your front end dips down and, and digs into the dirt and swings your back end around in this car. There we go, some asphalt. And back to it. Oh, I did not need a downshift. Now that, what, what car is it? Porsche right behind me. sideways at a little bit of a speed oh no <sighs> oh my god I'm going all rally in this thing now what the shit why did I do this to myself I'm fighting every second on the dirt to keep it in in check all right there we go Got off that pretty well. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Damn. I saw it at the top of the hill. Uh, I kind of went a little too sideways uh, coming off that. Well, I went too far to the right. Uh, too much speed. I needed to aim at it. So when I tried to turn, I overdid it. Oh man, it really pulls on the steering wheel when you hit that water. I've never hit a... 
hit a bit of water that fast before, or well, that long before. Dude, that, I can hear that car right behind me. I don't like it. Okay, back on asphalt. <laughs> I needed it. Thank you, Jeebus, and all of your holy ghosts. And for another victory, I know I grew out, but, you know, I like to get first place and get the extra cash. Whatever, sue me. Alright. I think this time I'm going to do a circuit race, so I'm not struggling the whole time. I'll try to make it easier on myself. Not in the Cooper Petty area. Now... I'm going to be playing uh, Dirt 4 about one time a week. I'm probably going to stick it to Wednesdays. And then uh, just any races that I get, I'm going to split it up into the championships that I play or the the uh, uh, the races that I play. And then I'm I'm just going to push it out. And I passed my, my friggin' spot because I started talking. I'm probably going to be playing on Wednesdays and then uh, just splitting up the races into uh, different sets because there's a lot to do in Dirt uh, 4. It's It's got the rally aspect. Then you have the trophy trucks and the... Uh, and the uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, when I play on Wednesday, anything that I, that I record, I'm going to split it up into uh, the bits that it goes to. So each uh, rally event or each... Uh, trophy truck event or each rally cross there's a lot of stuff to do in that game in the single player campaign and you kind of progress through one thing and then move on to the next to build your career and then uh, you can also take it on to online so I'm going to start out single player and then work my way towards online and uh, if I get some friends that get the game as well I'm going to put some of that stuff up but uh, I'm going to stick to uh, Forza as well and uh, probably going to be bringing in some uh, Formula One to it. I'm trying to get a little bit more variety in racing games going, as well as uh, continuing with some of my funny videos and things that happen when me and my buddies are playing like Battlefield and uh, Rocket League and other games that we play. I mean, we haven't played Rocket League in a while, but it's just an example of some of the, the other things that I do. So... All right, race number three for the uh, for the final, well, not final challenge. I still got the co-op challenge. And then I'll have everything that I can do currently. I'm just waiting for my friend to get home, and then once he gets home, we can start. All right, start race event. And I know this track pretty well, so I shouldn't have a hard time doing this in one lap. All these cars are a little bit quicker than mine. Well, he really slammed on his brakes. Yep, I got a lot of stuff that I'm wanting to do in, here in the near future um, as far as my YouTube channel goes. And, uh, I mean, I'm not really doing it for, for the views or anything. I really just like to play these games and like to share them with people. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm trying to get towards. And I'm probably going to lose this one because I'm not focused. Oh, shit. Downshifting too early on some of these. All right, I got a good run on that Audi. I got to make sure it lasts. I'm really not focused on the racing now as much as the talking, so. But I still win. You all can suck it. Flick my middle finger out the back window. If you can see it out the back window of this car. All right, that should be it. Yes. Not a snail's pace. So I just won the Porsche Cayman GTS. Now all I have left to do is the co-op challenge. So, now I just got to play the waiting game. Benet. 
Can you hear What's me? What's up? Good? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. Got a little bit of echo going on though. What the hell? What the hell? I just got a complete any co-op co event to earn eighty-five thousand. <laughs> oh shit! Oh that shit! Was the edge. So you could just so go and drive through a speed and trap, and, a speed and it will work. And it will work. <laughs> nice. That's super simple. That's super simple. Well, if you guys watched this video, I hope you enjoyed. I just found out the super easy way to do the uh, co-op challenge on here, so. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next Forzathon video. Thanks for watching. Alright, I almost forgot. As promised, I was going to do uh, wheel spins and see what I could get. Uh, right now, my buddy Benny is uh, doing the J-turn challenge. So, I'm going to go over my progress and see how many wheel spins I got. I don't know how many it says, but let's see what we can get. Ooh, right off the bat. C63 black. All right, spin again. I don't really care to have that uh, 205. Let's see. You now watch, I'm going to get what I don't want. Ford SVT Cobra. Meh. Not really a big fan of that. The SVT Cobra. You know. I want money. That's what I want is money so I can buy more high-end cars. More of the expensive cars because I still have a few to get. 100,000 credits. Viper GTS ACR. I think I already have one though. It's 30,000 credits. Keep going, keep going. Ooh, give me that drift kill, uh, that drift skills boost uh, Hellcat. Oh, it passed. It just passed. 10,000 credits instead. Why? I already have a Noble M600. I don't need another one. Come on. Okay, that's good. Good. 150,000. Oh, there it is again. Drift skills, Hellcat. Oh, I saw it pass. I saw it pass. Mm, another 10,000. Why do I always get the bad stuff? Credits boost this time. I had a drift skills boost uh, SRT ACR. Oh, I mean, it's not a bad car. You can do some pretty good stuff with it. And my car is drifting out to the... Ooh, credits boost 4GT Horizon Edition. Come on. Mm. You know, when I actually want cars... I don't get them, and then when I actually don't care to have the money, or I do want, like, when I'm really not caring, I get cars that I don't care about. 60,000 credits. Ooh, hello, friendo. <gasps> it passed. No. I want that Supra. Come on, big money. Mm, not quite so much. Fucking fuck! I don't care about the Selene S7. Now watch, I'm gonna get it. Nope, I'm gonna get 4,000. <laughs> I need to keep my mouth shut about this stuff. Damn it. This Camaro Super Sport Coupe, and I'm getting nailed by other cars. It's 30,000 credits, not bad. My car is drifting out to sea. Keep going, keep going. Wow! It was the same Nissan three times in a row. Opal Cadet. Eh. Whoa. Escort Carsworth, Drift Skills Boost. Let's go for it. Come on. Ooh. I'm okay with 200,000 credits. Come on. Keep the spins going. Keep the spins going. Ooh. F100. Nice. I don't even think I bought that one yet. Camaro Super Sport Coupe. 14,000 credits instead. I don't think I have the XJ220 yet, but I don't want it because it's just an ugly car to me. It looks like a whale shark on the front end. Looks like it swallows up a shitload of krill. Come on, 200,000 credits, that's fine with me. Now, I didn't know I didn't have the Donkervort for the longest time, and and I all of a sudden had it one day, like, 
I looked through. I could have sworn I, I had bought the car, but I didn't. I just want one of these these Horizon Edition cars, man. It's killing me. I keep seeing them go by. Mm, almost got the Alpine. Eighty days ago. Eighty days ago, a hundred thousand credits. I know it's up in the air. That's a little example just of showing what people have won. And I'm all out of wheel spins. Holy shit, I thought I had a lot more than that. I saved them up for quite a while before I did this, so, um, yeah. I know I already said goodbye, but, you know, I forgot to do the wheel spins like I said I was going to. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.